Hello, everyone. This is Zhe from Beihang University and was a visiting scholar at APG of Arizona State University, presenting you our recent work, Vita, Attending to Person Search by Natural Language. Person Search by Natural Language aims at finding a target person in a large-scale image pool that matches given textual descriptions. Compared with image-based person retrieval, Searching by textual descriptions provides the user with great flexibility because the open form of natural language is more easily accessible than image source. This task was first proposed in 2017, and the only benchmark is CUHK PEDES. We list several important work along the timeline. While most of previous works only learn and utilize the global feature representations of both image and text, these two approaches attempt to utilize the local fragments in both visual and textual modalities and hierarchically align them. Specifically, MIA exploits region information by manually dividing the input image into several horizontal strips and extracting non phrases from the natural language description. GALM leverages key points information from human post estimation as an attention mechanism to assist feature learning, and together with a non phrases extractor implemented on input text. Relevant studies in person modeling related research point out the critical role of discriminative representations especially of the local fragments in both image and text. But how to effectively cope them stays an open question. We seek insight from a fatally flooded case that lingers in most of the current vision language systems as illustrative. Both images present high similarities with the input query. This is because the salient fragments in language descriptions, such as black, white, red, shirt, skirt, boot, appear in both images, but with different permutations. For instance, the ladies on the left side is in a white shirt and a black skirt, while the lady on the right side is in a black shirt and white skirt. In this case, it is hard to identify the target person when measuring the similarities across modalities in a holistic fashion. This pitfall occurs due to a lack of detailed understanding of the fine grain interplay between images and sentences. To address it, we propose VITA, a model that aligns the parsed phrases with their corresponding local visual fragments through five predefined attribute categories and learns a fine-grained comparison at a trivial level. We select the most distinguishable local details in both modalities and wrap them into five categories. Head, including description related to head, classes, and face. Clothes on the upper body, clothes on the lower body, shoes, and bags, including backpack and handbag as shown in the figure. The network architecture can be roughly divided into three modules, including image stream, language stream, and alignment learning module. Within each module can be further divided into global level and attribute level processing. Next, we will go into details of these three modules. The image stream is designed to extract full body and attribute features through global branch and multiple local branch, respectively. Here, each local branch is responsible for one specific attribute. To encode attribute information in the visual features, we add a segmentation layer upon local branches and supervise it with the predictions from a pre-trained human parsing network. The human parsing network serves as a teacher network that transfers the knowledge to each local branch. Therefore, we can acquire attribute-aware visual features from the output of these local branches. Another benefit of attribute learning is that it naturally helps to resolve the ambiguity caused by the variance on appearance of persons, in etc., varying posts or viewpoints. 
with or without occlusion and with cluttered background. In the language stream, we first parse the whole sentence into short phrases through an off-the-shell tool. Then we cluster these phrases based on their corresponding embedding features. Concretely, we manually collect a list of words per attribute category in etc. shirt, jersey, polo to represent the upper body category and use the average pooled word vectors of them as the anchor of each cluster. To this end, we can label the parse phrases with one specific attribute categories. Once we get the global and attribute features, the key objective is to learn a joint embedding space across visual and textual modalities. Mathematically, we formulate our learning objective as a contrastive learning task, for which we propose an alignment loss as well as a novel sampling method to enrich the searching space. We also highlight that with the help of categorizing the attribute, the extracted visual and textual features are intrinsically aligned. In our learning schema, the cosine similarity of a positive pair is encouraged to be as large as possible. Well, for the negative pair, we optimize the deviation between negative similarity and positive similarity to be larger than a preset margin. This criterion can be formulated as and can be further derived as we use the logistic loss as our basic objective function. And our final alignment loss can be unrolled as The partial derivatives present our loss function can automatically assign larger weight to more informative samples. The proposed K reciprocal sampling is specially designed for attribute alignment learning. It works in an unsupervised manner to mine the samples with identical attributes but belongs to different ID persons, which termed as surrogate positive samples in this paper. The details are shown in the figure. In one word, we treat the k reciprocal nearest neighbors of each example as its corresponding surrogate positive samples. In ablation study, we first evaluate the contribution of different components. In the red box, using segmentation loss only brings marginal improvement because the visual features are not aligned with their corresponding textual features. Similarly, we observe the same trend when the training is combined with only attribute alignment loss, where the visual features are not properly segmented, hence cannot be associated for retrieval. An incremental gain is obtained by combining these two components. Compared with attribute level, Global level alignment greatly improves the performance. The cause of the performance gap is that the former is learning the attribute similarity across different person identities, while the latter is concentrating on the uniqueness of each person. We also present further study in each component. Figure A visualizes the segmentation map from the segmentation layer and the heat map of feature representations of each local branch. It shows the attribute knowledge has been successfully distilled to local branches. Figure B is the impact of the hyperparameter K in our proposed sampling method. The larger the K is, the more potential surrogate positive samples will be mined, but also with the increased probability of sampling non-relevant examples. Figure C visualizes some example of the mined surrogate positive samples within a mini batch. Qualitatively, Vita demonstrates grid interpretability during retrieval as a byproduct. With the proposed method, we achieve state-of-the-art performance on CUHK PEDES benchmark. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to ask me if you have any questions. More in-depth information can be found in the attached QR codes. Thank you.